Hey parents, it's Mr. TJ with Vertical Journey Martial Arts. Today I'm going to show you how to tie your little one's belt onto them. So we do have a video that teaches how to tie the belt and the students can learn how to tie their own belt from that, but a lot of times our little ones need some extra help. So I'm going to give you as the parent a quick tip on how to make this work well. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your, your child face you and put their arms out to the side. From here, you're going to take the belt and you're going to make a tail. Doesn't matter which end of the belt you use, I'm going to use the end with the stripe on it for this one. Mr. Bob's a purple belt today. So I'm going to take that tail, I'm going to make it about, uh, about 18 inches long, depending on your student and depending on how um, their belt fits them, you adjust this length a little bit, but we're going to start with about 18 inches long. I'm going to take that tail and I'm going to stick it out behind them and put this right on their little hip bone. From there, I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to pull this belt around, making sure it lays nice and flat. It doesn't have to be super snug at this point, but if you leave it loose, it gets real hard to tie here in a minute. So we're going to wrap it around nice and easy. We're going to hand it to ourselves. Now I notice that it goes over the top. It's really critical that you make sure that it goes over the top of the, uh, the original tail here and that it doesn't get wrapped or twisted as you go around. Once it gets around to the front, you continue to go around. I like to place my other hand right here to keep this little crisscross close together. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around again and grab it again. And again, it's gonna go over the top. So now I've gone over the top of the original tail two times. From here, I'm gonna take my pointer finger and pinch underneath with my thumb on top and I'm gonna slide that around to the front. Now with the little ones, they may be wiggling around a little bit. So if you leave a little bit of extra slack here, then you can make that turn a lot easier. Okay, now you'll notice that I've got a tail kind of poking out the bottom and one that's laying on the top. The one that's, that's over the top here is gonna go underneath both layers. The way that I like to do this is to simply take a finger, fold it over. Let me show you with this one real quick. I'm gonna take a finger and I'm just gonna fold it over and then I would use that to shove it up through. That's a little bit more comfortable than trying to take the end and slide it up through. So I just take the finger and I fold it over and I tuck it up through so that we end up with this lovely little crisscross here in the front. So I'm gonna turn that towards you so you can see it a little better. Now we've got one that's going under both layers and coming out the top. Make sure that it captures both layers there, otherwise the belt will be very uncomfortable. And then we've got one that's coming out the bottom. From here, this is when you want to adjust your tension. So you can ask your little one, hey, is that too tight? Is that too loose? And of course, they're gonna tell you that it's way too tight, even if it's barely touching them. So go ahead and give it a little tug and make sure it's nice and snug on there to hold their uniform in place. But give them some room for comfort as well. Now I'm gonna take this top one and it's going to, well, first of all, I'm gonna check my length. So from here, I can see that I've got two different lengths. So all I'm gonna do is tuck this one back up a little bit and then shift this one over and then move the crisscross point back to the center line of their body. Now, we're pretty close to the same length. Now I'm gonna take the top one, I'm gonna flip this bottom one over and take the top one and go over it. So I've got one little twist, not much, just a little bit in that bottom one. Then after I've gone over the top, I'm gonna tuck it back up through and tighten. Now you should end up with a lovely little loop here around the front and two loopies going on the inside. You like those loopies? That's a, that's a technical term of belt tying there. And then their belt's gonna stay on really nicely for the whole class. One quick tip, a lot of parents, they come in here and they go to tie and they, they pull slowly. And so you see how loose that knot is? It's not gonna stay very long. But if you give it a little pop, it'll stay and it won't hurt the kid at all to do that little pop. It doesn't make the sides tighter, it just makes the knot tighter. All right guys, I hope that was helpful for you. I'm gonna do it one more time, a little bit faster so that you guys can kind of see the whole flow of everything. And then you'll know how to tie your student's belt on. Take our tail, set it on, wrap around once going over the top, around twice going over the top. Now we're gonna move it to the center, tuck the top tail underneath both layers, adjust tension, check tail length, wrap over, tuck underneath, give it a pop, pat them on the back and send them off to class. All right, parents, hope that was helpful. Hope you guys enjoy watching your little tight train today. We'll see you guys later.